Hi, I'm Maggie, and this is Music Theory for Piano Technicians, Part 17, What are Coincident Partials? We've learned what partials are. We learned that partials are numbered from 1 and above. You can go past 10 if you want to. We're just going to 10, and most of the time you can even get away with going to 8, but I'm going to continue going to 10 for now. The scale degrees give us the pitch no matter what key we're in, as long as you memorize the numbers. 1, 1, 5, 1, 3, 5, flat 7, 1, 2, 3. Those are our scale degrees. If I write those out starting from C, we have 1. Let's say this is C1. 1, 1, 1 5, 1, 3, 5, flat 7, 1, 2, 3. Let's look at another set of partials also from C, but let's call this C2. So the fundamental of that is going to be 1, 1, 5, 1, 3, 5. And I'm not going to go up any further because I'm not comparing past that point. So where do we line up? From C1, we have a coincident partial right here with the fundamental of C2. So this is our first coincident partial. We have another one right here where the 1, 2, 3, 4th partial of C1 lines up with the second partial of C2, and that's also on a C. We line up here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the 6th partial of C1 lines up with the 3rd partial of C2, and that's a G. We line up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The 8th partial of C1 lines up with the 4th partial of C2, and that's on the C again. This one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The 10th partial of C1 lines up with the 5th partial of C2, and that's on an E. Let's write this out again from F. 1, 1, 5, 1, 3, 5, flat 7, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to start up an octave. We're going to call this F1. I'm going to call this F2. So we have 1, 1, 5, 1, 3, 5. And I'm going to stop numbering them there where are our coincident partials in the same places, the same proportions, but just a different letter because we started on a different key. So here are our coincident partials, and they are on F, F, C, F, and A. Let's look at a different interval. Starting from C, 1, 1, 5, 1, 3, 5, flat 7, 1, 2, 3, and let's look at a fifth. A fifth up from C is G. 1, 1, 5, 1, 3, 5, flat 7. Actually, I don't have to go past that. So where are our coincident partials? We can see they line up here, here, and here. So the coincident partials from C1 to G1 are G2, G3, and D4. Let's look at that same interval, but starting from F. 1, 1, 5, 1, 3, 5, flat 7, 1, 2, 3. Going up a fifth puts us on C. 1, 1, 5. 1, 3, 5, flat 7. Our coincident partials, same proportions, just a different letter because we started on a different letter. Here they are. So the coincident partials from F and C moving upward are C, C, and G. Let's look at another interval, starting from C. 1, 1, 5. 1, 3, 5, flat 7, 1, 2, 3. 
and let's go up a major third. So that'll put us on E. One, one, five, one, three, five, flat, seven, one. Where are our coincident partials? Notice we're getting a little higher with this interval. They're here and here and then right next door there. So the coincident partials from a C and an E, a major third, end up being up higher an E, a D, and an E. Let's do that same interval starting from F. One, one, five, one, three, five, flat seven, one, two, three. A major third up from F is A. One, one, five, one, three, five, flat seven, one. And I can stop there. Our coincident partials, same proportions, just a different letter because we've shifted upward. So these partials from F to A fall on an A, a G, and an A. Let's look at another interval, starting from C, one, one, five, one, three, five, flat seven, one, two, three, and how about a major sixth? A major sixth up from C is A. One, one, five, one, three, five. So where are our coincident partials? Here and here. So the coincident partials from C to A, that major six, fall on an E and an E, up higher. Let's do a major sixth starting from F. One, one, five, one, three, five, flat seven, one, two, three. A major sixth up from F is D. One, one, five. One, three, five. I don't have to go past that. Our coincident partials are here and here. Same proportion, just a different letter. So from F to D, we line up at an A and an A. This was a very basic explanation of coincident partials. I'm going to talk more about them soon. I am going to talk about how to use them, but we need to gain some more understanding about them first and how they work. So my next video will cover more coincident partials, and we're also going to stop calling them by their scale degree number. You need to just, to just have that in your head. We're going to number them, first partial, second partial, third partial, but that's coming in the next video. Bye-bye.